Okay. Uh, Stream Decker is working. Okay, we got some stuff working. MTG bot, you working? Yeah, you are. All right, all right, all right. Night's all right for fighting Saturday night's all right. Mistaken N and Young Dingo already on the board here. Am I going to get on the board with Prison Tron? Well, let me tell you something, folks. Prison Tron hasn't been seen in the 5-0 deck dump since, like, February. And as a man who spilled water on himself there, uh, I've got to tell you, our chances are very high. I don't know, Boosh. I don't know. Hira means probably control, so let's keep the seven. Show me these... Show me your blue white beauties. So we're just going to rip the second Tron land on two, right? So. God, I, I miss this so much playing with all of you here. And I say all of you, it's all six of you, but you know what? We started this stream with like one, two. And I did not do a good job of promoting the fact that I was going to be back today. And I, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Windswept Heath. And they were like tank, 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 tank Heath. With their Kahira companion. I don't know what's happening, but uh Alrighty then. Ooh, a lush portico. So, uh, I was watching Dune 2, or Dune Part 2 yesterday, because I finally, uh, decided to do that. I, uh, I watched Part 1 last year, as most people did, and then... I'm a little late on watching Dune Part 2 because uh, it was on the cruise ship in our IMAX theater, but uh, they didn't do a midnight showing, and I didn't want to fork over a bunch of money, so I... Huh. Does anyone know what my opponent might be doing? You know what? I'm jamming in a chalice on zero because something tells me this is going to be like an ardent plea cascade deck. I don't know what's making me think that, but I, I will eat, I will eat the chalice on zero. Can they do that with Kahira? Well, no, maybe they're the enchantment cascade, cascade deck. Cause that wouldn't need to play any actual creatures. I suppose. Uh, let's go get a mine. I feel like people are going to be doing a bunch of goofy shit right now in in the queues. Um, you got you have something, right? You get 
Are we doing stuff? Are we playing magic? We're not playing magic. What are we doing? What are you doing? I know Violent Outburst got banned. How do people feel about that? Anyone got Violent Outburst opinions? I don't have any Violent opinions about pretty much anything, but... See, this, this looks so much like some kind of cascade nonsense, or... Boy, that's a lot of colors. Puts a card on top. Well, okay. I got Tron coming, so you better... It better be something good. Omnath? Green, green, blue. Green. The Juan Ring. That, um... Boy, is that not going to do it. Does anyone know what they're doing? Because I have a... Well, I can't use my stone brain. It's target opponent. But boy, do I have the ability to play a chalice on one and two. I can play a chalice on three. I don't know what they're doing, so I don't... I don't know what I would chalice. Oh, well, I mean... I suppose drawing the perfect card is an option here. Now, let's just see if there's a Karn literally on top of my library. I'm going to jam in a chalice on one here. The Juan ring... Mm -hmm. Now able to be needled. I I know that it's entirely possible for me to immediately lose the game this turn. I just have no freaking idea what they're doing over there. Kahira and and this, whatever this is. I mean they, they might be like the solitude subtlety blue white control deck splashing green for stuff. If that's the case, they probably have like a ley line binding or a like a ley line binding. Yeah. We haven't played a land yet, so they can do that. I'm going to guess I don't need in Staring Bridge in whatever this matchup is. If nothing else changes, I feel like I'm just going to like play Stonebrain and try to hit Counterspell off of them. I feel like that's the move. Any chat ejections? Second Leyline Binding. Well, that's more than a little brutal, but okay. I mean, if I find a Blast Zone, and I have two of them, and I have an Inscribed Tablet in play, um, then I will be able to clear that those both out very nicely. Hey, speak of the devil. Uh, let's see what the flip is going on over there. What the? Uh, what are you doing? Counter spell? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh my. Uh. Okay. Well. Oh, I missed this game. Uh, I... <laughs> That's something else. Okay, so it's like a very slow four color. 
Okay, I took that. I took a picture, and there was a reason I did that. And the reason I did that was, yeah. There is no good number for me to chalice, so let's just play the blast zone, and we'll we'll take that six ASAP. And also next turn I get to inscribe tablet. There's no reason to randomly burn cards out of my hand. Nothing they have at the moment is like any kind of like kill me clock. And generally speaking, like if I just like sundering tighten them, they're flipped. Um, so they don't really have. Yeah, they, they have nothing they can do about getting sundering tightened. So that's the plan. I mean, they have a uh, Solitude in their hand, but that, like, they, yeah, sure, they'll kill the Sundering Titan, but they'll also be dead. Um, Teferi is annoying. Just bouncing nothing? They just like everything where it is? I mean, that's fair. Chalice is completely garbage against them, but... I'm surprised. I'm surprised about that. Can I just draw... Oh, Jesus. They had 10 cards in hand. Can I just draw a Karn? Because they have no out for that, and it would just destroy them. That would be great. They didn't have another Leyline Binding in their hand, did they? They didn't. Oh, they did. They did. But that's fine. Now, playing the Karn at this moment actually takes me away from cracking this Blast Zone on six. Uh... They can definitely ley line binding me at the moment, so I am not. God, if I could just possess portal right now. I mean, obviously they have the ley line binding, but. Okay, so essentially you have the way to win the game now, and I just need a little bit more mana. So let's crack the inscribed tablet this turn, set up the blast zone for next turn, which gives me back Pithy Needle, Mystic Forge. Let's do this first. Maybe this turn is mostly spent playing Karn and putting a card in my hand that I'm not intending to actually cast until next turn. Perfect. So this, okay, this sets me up perfectly. This means I can do it. I can I can do it all, and I can have it all, just like carry and sex in the city. I don't need to make a choice between being a successful career woman and a mother. And this also shuts down their one ring for the moment, although they're going to lay line binding my card, but it's fine. Why would you do this in response? This is, this is such a bad idea. Use his ability, yes. Where are you? There we go. Hold on. Oh, they do have Boseju's. Boseju's can blow up my blast zone. But I have the Sundering Titan now, so I'm not so worried about it. Although... At the moment, if I lose my blast zone, I'm really up a creek. Shoot. If they find a Boseju, I'm in trouble. There's a reasonable chance that they have found a Boseju, although they need to be aware of that fact. Uh, I did take 
the fastest course to this answer. So I'm not going to feel bad about what happens if I do get Poseidude. Are they casting Omnath? It sure looks like it. Brennan six, okay. They can Poseidou lock me. That would be spectacularly bad. And was not something I was playing around at all. Please no. Okay. Whew. Okay, I, th I think this game is locked up. Said increasingly nervous man. <laughs> and they scoop it up. I have enough mana to blow my blast on on six, Sundering Titan them, and then I still have a Karn activation. So they're on an island at that point. No, 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 hold on. They get to keep two lands. It's probably an island and a Thundering Falls, and all they have is Teferi and Renin Six. Renin Six that they didn't activate. Interesting. Okay. So Chalice is out. Dismember. I guess I'll probably end up keeping some. Uh, Stonebrain, I won't need to wish for. Let's play the Boombox. Let's play the Ballista. Oh, God. And I don't need these bridges either. So Chalice is better than Bridge. Blitzer! How you doing, baby? Thank you. Dakota Gates, how are you? Yeah, we're keeping this. This is a stone lock. Opponent oh, took a multi of six. Keeps. My guess is that means they have like prismatic ending or something similar. But there's no reason for me to not play this map. They will spell pierce or prismatic ending, most likely. Uh, okay. Or <sighs> whatever. And then we'll just inscribe tablet forward. I should not, should not miss my land drop, but it's possible. If they have a run in six, I guess I could go tablet needle. Okay. That's a binding. That's fine. These surveil lands are interesting. I I don't know how good they are, but they're they're very interesting. Force of vigor in the bin. Ooh 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 ee man, that's whoa. Also, I uh tablet into a blast zone, which is. Not not my favorite. Uh, saga is a whole thing right now. Uh. All right. Fingers crossed. No disenchants, please. I got to dismember if they just jam an Omnath. Obviously, they get the two for one, but I'll take it at this point if they... No. Lush Portico. Bison Bison 17. Thank you.
All right, I'll take it. Uh, sure. Yeah, because I... Saga tokens are not the way to, to win this game. At all. That's the one thing that I... Like, where I had too many, like, like chalices and dismembers and, and incinerating bridges that I couldn't use... They have too much uh, creature removal, I'm sure. Yeah, this is going to be Omnath, Fetch Land. It's actually really unfortunate that I spam that dismember on the Fable, but, like, I don't know. What else are you going to do? They got a tap land. Now they play the one ring. Nope. Fable. Okay. Is there a Boseju in my future? There is. God, that sucks. What an unbelievable hand. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I mean, it's a ramp, so. Do I need this token? No, not at all. So, map. Go spell skite, basilisk collar, pithing needle on Boseju, because I'm not worried about Renin Six. Sure. And the dream here is to just rip a power plant next turn and just wipe them out obviously that's wishful thinking but if i draw any land i can play a walking blister with two counters equip a black basilisk collar and then every turn i have the mana to blow away one of their creatures they discard windswept heath only so they have a card they like they tapped black that's worrisome unmoored ego yep Okay. Probably going for Karn. They go for Karn. Four less Karns in my deck means I'm much more likely to draw the power plant that I wanted. Land. Got my mana the right way. Play Ballista on one. Non-legendary. 
Well, it's not concerning until they have... Oh, but they get the second one. Right, so I have to do this now. Okay. Well, I'm not in this game for much longer, but if I draw... So they have a lot of error in their deck, a lot of cards that don't do much right now, and I just have to draw a land, preferably a Tron land, but a land would do it. Okay, so that's fine because Boseju is off. So it's just a fetch land. It's just an endless string of fetch lands, but it's not a problem anytime soon. Yeah, it's life and it's mana. That's fine. The way I'm likely to win this game is going to have nothing to do with with those things. Oh, they're fetching. Please no. Please do not let the last card in your hand also be more gasoline. That would be really obnoxious. Oh, okay. One problem at a time. Although I can't turn this off because my Karns are out and I have a pity needle. So. Pain and suffering have become my world. Bang. All right. It's fine. Game three, y'all. Game three. Match tied. So let's... Oh, that's fine. No, I, I like... Yeah, I like things as they are. We just need to be a little luckier. So this is like turn three, Tron, but with needle in hand already. I, I'm going to keep the risky hand. I'm going to keep the risky seven. Let's go. I'm going to lead on a scribe tablet uh, because if I miss my second land, then I can just crack the tablet for that and it should hit. And if it doesn't hit, then like clearly not meant to win, right? I mean, I think that's... If it does hit, do I needle... Renin six? No, I think I just needle Boseju. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Is God on our side? Let's find out. Remember, if you win, it means God's on your side. Ah, uh, brutal. I mean, I have Relic, so I've got two draws at a land here. Jeez. Please, no. Come on. Okay, a land. I will take a land. No green mana in play. And they surveil a forest, so they definitely have green mana in their hand. And having a Pithing Needle on Basaji means almost nothing. They do have Teferi. They're playing Fable, though. Uh, okay, I think this is Dismember plus Spellskite. Doesn't set me up for lands any better. Oh, I could have saved two life. Uh, it doesn't save me for drawing lands any better, but it does potentially protect my Pitting Needle. Not from a Force of Vigor, but... Yeah, we're in big trouble this game. Okay. 
Okay. One of the better potential draws, because I can get Expedition Map, which I will do. And I have a Spell Skite, so... I have five potential mana next turn. What does that do for me? Not a whole hell of a lot. I mean, I could spyglass them. I guess you can get a liquid metal coating, all that. It's not. Spyglass is probably the move. I can spyglass the one ring and see where we're at. Got two turntables and a microphone. No, it's not. Okay, so they were trying to cast Force of Vigor? No. Oh, they're playing on that. Okay. Oh, I forgot how much I hated this. Playing against Omnath Fetchland. But I suppose... Yeah. Doesn't change too much. I mean, they didn't show themselves playing Bring to Light, although they had um, Unmoored Ego, so maybe they are. Uh... Okay, and now what? Uh huh. What if I just drew a mine? No. Okay. Oh, crap. That's fine. I never do that. Uh, Well, that's awkward. It's fine. Five mana didn't get me anything great anyway. But this means I surely lose the Karn. Because the five mana would have gotten me a bridge. And then I could have played Chalice on zero. And then if they didn't have an out for that immediately... I was gonna keep my Karn for an extra turn. Shoot, guys. So that that was so bad. I literally said the word mine earlier. I didn't talk about the travel I had uh, home, but it's been really rough. And uh... all right, well, <laughs> let's spyglass the one ring, because I guess that's the only thing that makes sense to do. But let's see how bad their hand is for me. If it's not much. I'll stay in the war dead. Okay. Nothing mattered. They had a force of vigor. We're not beating that. So that that one's on me. Uh, I think we could have easily won that game, but I I punted on picking up Tron there. It's been a while. I said mine, and then I grabbed a power plant. It has nothing to do with the uh, multiple different borders on cards in my deck. And it was a close one. I, I think we could have taken that match, but they were very lucky with the early prismatic ending there. And Yeah, the Force of Vigor definitely made it a situation that 
basically there was no win in that, huh? But uh, still. Yeah, the Forza Vigor was pretty brutal. It's just very hard to beat that deck in general, too. They have, like, 8 million things that target all your permanents. Like, n none of their... E everything they have targets all permanent types, so it it's not... Yeah. Uh, In the dark, opponent does not have a companion of a mulligan there. Uh, this is, yeah, this is great. Uh, ditch a map. I don't have a great payoff, but... Dark Steel Citadel. Whew! Does anyone know what's what's going on on the other side of the table? Because I sure as hell don't. Dark Steel Citadel. Well, it might be straight up affinity if it is, and I resolve a Karn. It, it's, okay, it looks like affinity. Okay. I don't have a Karn. So... Let's defuse their affinity count. I th think that's the play. And then next turn, I go like crack map, get the power plant, play tablet map. Because I... This is like a mirror enforcer. Needle! Oh my god, that's so brutal. Oh, they choose Karn, though. That's... Okay. Simultaneously very good for me. Uh, yeah. Do I need to block this? No. Because I can map for um, Blast Zone. I can take a four point hit from a mirror enforcer. I guess Blast Zone doesn't beat these welding jars though. But this walking blista surely will. They're missing color mana. Uh let's play this chalice on zero, because they definitely have a bunch of zeros. Uh I can crank ballista twice per turn, so I'll play spell skite now. Oh, sure. Uh, anyway. Perfect. Three times. I'm going to play a 3-3 three, three Ballista to get it down before they can, like, Metallic Rebuke it. Um... But I feel like we're in a very good spot here. Yeah, just, just, yeah, exactly. Just remember, it could be Affinity with that blue Construct Maker. Yeah, 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 yeah. The card that I actually wanted to play with today. Uh, well, we're going to eight, but I feel like I'm in really great shape here. Crank that. Crank this. And that Fomori Vault's going to come in. I suppose... I suppose the truth of the matter is the Fomori Vault won't do shit. Um, because I can just Adventure's Fair for the correct artifact for the situation. And and so I really don't need to care about... Okay, so they conceded. Fomori Vault would offer me an ability to like grind here. Like I could discard Urza's Mine and look at the top four. And that would give me a Mystic Forge. Like, that's... For three mana... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I will be right back, and then we will continue...
Alrighty. I'm back, Internet Doc. Although the moment you said that, I got up and left, so. I went out to get some smokes. I just couldn't stay away from a violent outburst, man. Actually, I liked it more when Cascade was more popular. Went to Hollywood for the first time last month. How was that? Uh... I mean, if they have an explosive start... I'm on the draw. I need to try to guarantee I'm going to have Tron. Although, this has a dismember, so... And this is essentially guaranteed Tron. Let's tuck this island. Yeah, I don't need that. And, uh... Tanglewood Bridge. Falling Jar. M9. Well, that's a great draw. Eh. Just just kill everything you can is the move. I'm I'm I feel confident of that fact. Every every time you can kill everything you can against this deck. Uh tablet? Is he gonna counter this? They are. Okay, perfect. Perfect. No, 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 I won't uh I won't pay for that. But I will pay for that. How you feel now, Super Cow? How are you feeling now? Oh, they are playing the thing. Hey, Internet Doc, thank you for the sub. So let's play Saga this turn. Uh, this has no activatable abilities. So let's needle welding jar. And then I'm just going to map uh, for the tower. I suppose I could, well, change the plan. We're going to map for the Fomori Vault. I mean, I only have one artifact in play, but that will change very quickly. Okay. Feel good about this. And actually, it's funny because one of the things I've always said about Prison Tron is like, Prison, Prison Tron, that's funny. Prison Tron plays the best through damping spheres and blood moons out of any of the Tron variants. Um, also, at the moment, they are very dead to Ensnaring Bridge, and I can't imagine that changes. Oh, okay, so now they're going to get one trigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. That is very large. If I find a car in there, super fucked, but uh, that is that is a big boy. Okay, let's make some blockers. So what I need to do is just put artifacts on the battlefield at the moment. Oh, Basilisk Scholars. Oh, I should have made the second construct. No, I should. Yes, I should. No, I should. Is there a one mana artifact? I'll play any artifact at this moment. Let's discard power plant. Gets me nothing useful. Well, I shouldn't have played the land because I could have played a second saga here. This is getting me closer to Karn, though. I guess Mystic Forge would get me closer to Karn the fastest. But I really probably do not have a lot of time here to mess around. I think we'd take the saga. And I should have been able to play the saga this turn. I, I, made, a, I made a misplay. Yeah, playing the tower was was pointless. I mean, unless I'm planning on blast zoning it, which I will not have enough time to do. Ooh, boy. Yeah, that's... Yeah, so... I have to draw 
ensnaring bridge this turn and i have to they have to not bounce it i mean i might die now but okay looks like we're alive okay uh yeah okay because blast zone is not on zero okay so we're just dead uh yeah so concede yes okay okay we deck did not want to win that game that's that's fine Oh. Oh boy. Uh All right, what what are we thinking? People who are watching this game right now, what do, what do you want to do here? If I hit a second land, cuz I'm going to go chalice on 0 and 1. Like that's locked in and that's great. Opponent has not seen early chalices from us yet. It's likely to block a pretty good number of cards. Name is Twitch Chat. You know, this is the content keep. You got to go with the content keep. <laughs> Scared of hands like these? You should be. I don't think it's correct to keep it. We have 22 lands. All right. Odds uh, 53, 22, 1, 1. Yeah, 41% chance to hit. That's not good. But when I hit, and when it's one of the missing Tron lands, and we absolutely dominate this game because of it. Okay. Well, it's not... No, let's keep the Dismember. Isn't Chalice an amazing card in this matchup? On the play, it's good. No, I'm going to needle that. I'm needling that. Well, I guess I could dismember it. Oh, no, I guess they, they could sacrifice it now. I have a second map. Oh, dude, if they sacrifice this to kill my expedition map, or... Oh, they're going for the Chalice. Okay, well, that's not how Chalice works. There was no chance for me to play the second Chalice with the first one out, so... This, I guess this kind of works out in my favor. Okay. Second creature on the stack. Dismember the first one. Because this way they don't get to play a Frogmite here. Yeah. Land. Can't needle Springleaf Drum, so... I don't think it's worth trying to blind needle anything here. Let's just play the second map. Yeah, second map's the play. And we chalice on zero again, because they have a lot of zeros they could draw into. Okay, Frogmite, not surprising. They can't Thought Monitor or Mirror Enforcer yet. So I still have time. Land. Any land. Brutal. Close, I guess. So we're on now, uh, I've missed on an 80%. Okay, if they have nothing, that is enormous. Two mines, tower. It doesn't matter what I take. So you take the mine. You want to always have um, Tower come in as your final uh, land. You always want Tower to be the... Okay, sure. It's fine. You always want Tower to be the final land because it comes in untapped with three mana. Second Frogmite, that opens up both Mirror Enforcer and Thought Monitor. So we've both flailed for the exact same amount of time. Let's see who comes out of this stronger. Yeah. Okay. 
if I had to guess, I'm going to say I have to pithing needle on cranial plating right now. Because if I don't, there's a very ch good chance that I just die. Okay. Now next turn, I can almost go like map Inventor's Fair, Inventor's Fair for bridge. I haven't seen anything that makes me think that they have an easy out to bridge. So. Uh-oh. 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 Don't like any of this. That's okay. God, great timing on that again, too, huh? Didn't get in for two there. Do I have any mods? I bet I have mods. Yay! I was trying to figure out how to deal with that, and then I thought, wait. Yeah, no, no, I, I thought I had several, actually, but I just... I I don't know if I'd say I was asking out of politeness, but... Uh... Okay. So, I can map for Blast Zone that eventually deals with that Damping Sphere. Or I can map for Inventor's Fair. Oh, boy. And that gets me... Uh, Ensnaring Bridge. I think... Okay, let's get the Inventor's Fair. Because also, at any point here, I could just draw a card and completely destroy their... Souls, I guess, is the right... And now I've got my Fomori Vault, so once I'm behind the bridge, I'm theoretically kind of safe. The only concern is if they actually have an out for uh, the bridge, which... They probably do, but it's not going to help them soon. Showing my wife Fate for the first time. Bleach is what Blitz is watching. I've never seen Bleach. Is it good? I mean, you're watching it, so it probably... I, I just... um. I don't like too much anime in my anime, if that makes sense. Um... I enjoy it, but I grew up on 2010 Shonens. Okay. Please, no. Shoot. Uh, brutal. Well, <laughs> our opponents have had a really bad habit of kind of having everything they need right where they need it. And, uh... So I just need to rip another bridge. Uh... And that's really all there is to it. Like, unfortunately, it just, like, I have two spell skites in play, and they just didn't play into that in any way. Play Ballista. Yeah, it's just too much. Shoot. I mean, we're winning games in every match, so that's a great feeling. Uh, like, I feel like this archetype is not completely garbage and, uh, Fomori Vault seems like an okay addition. Boosh, I don't know about the term your channel. Because I feel like an innocent chatter is going to say like, oh, your channel is so great. Your channel helped me so much with this and that. Just a, I don't, like, um. I just, is that fair? I feel like that's fair. Thank you for the effort. I really appreciate you.
Channel is a good word. Channel Ulamong and Cube. Our opponent Malta 6 doesn't have a companion. I don't know what that means. Yet. Obviously, I don't know what it means. It's the first turn, turn of the first game of the match. Blood Crypt. I was thinking your channel is clunky enough that no one would say it naturally. I don't think that's true. Is this... Is this scam? Is this like straight up scam? Oh, they took Stone Brain. Okay, probably not scam. Is it Gorio's something? So let's see if I have Tron. I'm looking for a mine. I don't have Tron, so play Saga. Oh, I like had a second stone brain. I... I did play against Scam or whatever Scam is called now in my previous league, and I got uh, annihilated by a Dothy Void Walker being in play when my Karn died, and I did not miss that. Oh, it's like Jun Saga. Is that? Is that a thing? Are people sagging with Jund? Jund Sagavan's a classic, yeah. Absolutely. It's bangers all the way down, man. You play Tarmogoyf. Ragavan. Lightning Bolt. Nothing better. Oh, they got the Surveil Land now? Like, they're living it up. Persist in the graveyard. No. This is creativity. Which is why they took that Stone Brain. Which means we are going to take away all their Archons. Absolutely going to take away all your Archons. I heard that this is the new hotness in creativity, so I, I have become aware of it. Mine. I'm getting a mine. Mine. I'm getting a mine. Mine is the card we're getting here. We're getting a mine. Can anyone confirm, or I guess I should do it myself. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, popular decks, metagame, modern. Creativity. One moment, main deck will say you. Literally nothing else. Okay, literally nothing else that could target artifacts. So. Stone brain. No, tablet first. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm planning on doing something that. I. I want to have the freedom to worry about this Ren and Six. Oh. Okay. I'm assuming my opponent just got the same exact message as I did that popped them out of the game, so. Anyway, the, the risk with the line I took here is that I made my construct a 3-3 to attack the Ren and Six. And yes, they can bolt it. And yes, they can push it. But if I hit this Ren and Six for three, it's good news for me because I'm about to take out their Archons. And so Ren and Six is their clearest way to try to win. And Yeah, sorry. Yeah, creativity targets artifacts, but not... Yeah, yeah, not in the... Okay. Oh, their hand is terrible, so. Get 
Okay, they're pretty much toast here. So they had one draw there, and they have a persist and nothing but lands. They did draw something, because they're... Well, no, they didn't have a fetch land in their graveyard. They might just be... Oh, boy, this is something, though. Being able to fetch a bunch of uh, scry or surveil lands is... That's really sick. Invasion of Aragamon. Yeah, that's just to, yeah, that's nothing. Hmm. Okay. Mystic Fault. Chalice. Boy, a lot of their deck is ones, huh? Push, oh, not that much. Push, Bolt, Thoughtseize. I should just play Ballista on three. So let's play this Chalice for zero. Let's see. Okay, Bridge is... Bridge will get Mystic Forged next turn. Play Ballista here. We keep the Ren and Six from killing us. And I have more than enough other stuff to win this game otherwise. So. I can't. What what card am I most worried about them drawing? Did I? It's nothing, right? The card I'm most worried about them drawing is nothing. It's nothing. Okay. The answer is nothing. Yeah, they're just surveilling wildly here. They're just trying to find an answer in any way, but. And they have one more surveil land. Perfect. Oh no, my hand. No. Even even if I had spells I cared about. Oh, also they're just dead, huh? That's funny. <laughs> like I'm just gonna kill them. Not not that the Thoughtseize was terribly important to that. But uh I wonder what their sideboard fatty is. Emissary could be difficult. I mean, I don't... Typically, this matchup is more about not letting them get that kind of thing going on. Uh, Emissary gets taken down by Cityscape Leveler, right? And I have Bridges, too. So it's I don't really think that that's a problem. Um... Yeah, we'll go Spyglass in. It's it's not usually about the payoff cards that you have to worry so much in this matchup. It's more about like getting uh Ren and Six Boseju looped and stuff because uh they have another Boseju in the sideboard. Four pick your poisons. Okay, so do not and this one has Trastons and Emrakul. Um, 
So under no circumstances in this matchup are you allowed to lead on um they mold the six. Are you allowed to lead on Urza Saga? You are not allowed to lead on Urza Saga in this matchup. If they are playing, pick your poison. Not that you'd want to lead on such a card, but, uh, so if I get thought seized, they take the map. Oh, no, they probably take stone brain. Cause they don't want to lose like they did. Last Although they don't. Okay. Mine, mine tower. This guy missing power plant. Surveil land. Yeah. So I'm guessing this means they have turn to run and six. Oh, oh, that's okay. I mean, yeah. Do I throw my stone brain into play because I don't want it to get thought seized? I could play chalice for the same reason, but most of their stuff that chalice actually affects is out. They must have a Renin six in their hand. Which means if I chalice on one and then two next turn, well, I, I wouldn't do that with a stone brain in my hand, but I, I could play stone brain, then chalice on two, but then I can't chalice on one, but chalice on one is right now. Um, what am I doing here? I think you just go for the Tron. It's not going to matter if they whiff, if they, if they miss on the land, I, I just don't think it matters. They mold a five for this. This is, I would have gone to four to find two lands in a Renin six if I were them. Yeah, they're just out. That's that's tough. I'll be right back uh, while we're looking for next match. Okay. On the play. Okay. Yagantha probably means zoo. Yeah, let's, we're in the dark. Let's try to hit a turn through Tron. I, you've never heard Yagantha? I mean, Mord goes with Shigantha, which I now understand. All right, I think I'm keeping this one. It's basically a worse version of the first hand, but uh, if we're going to win, it's going to be, we're going to have to be lucky anyway. Did not have Leyline of the Guild Pack, so if this is Zoo, that's good news. Although if it's Jund, then I just mold to a much worse hand against Jund. I've said Yagantha for a long time, right? 
who is there anyone here? Is anyone a frequent mana symbol channeler? Does anyone channel me? Either in a cosmic sense or I've definitely said it before. DRC. I would like to insulate myself from getting Ragavan Dash. So we go kill that, untap, land. All right. This is, I think this is now exactly the same as the first hand almost, but with one less land. Sorry, two less lands. Because I could have just strolled up to Mystic Forge with the first hand. I don't think I had the Dismember. I think I had the Walking Blista. But I had like Power Plant, Power Plant, Power Plant, Mine. <laughs> Batagaboosh, have you ever listened to the F Face podcast? The F stands for what you think it would. Okay. I, there was just a recent thing where someone at the beginning of the episode was like, hey, uh, you don't seem too, too enthusiastic today. And the person was like, oh, I don't? All right, try to tell me some news or something. And they told him, it's like, oh my God, what? Breakout. Okay. It's very, now when I see something in all caps, it gives me the Chris Farley energy. What? Wild. Inti, Seneschal of the Sun. So I'll block that with spells. Wait, hold on. Okay, it's not. I can't. I can't move the counter to my spell skite because my spell skite's not attacking. All right, well, this. Because they have, oh, so it's some kind of food deck. Wild. So they're they're probably Jund, right? And they're missing the black. Tower. Okay. Uh probably just dead here. But I do want to find out as much about their deck as possible. Oh, I was trying to... I was like, oh, Inti has haste? It it does not. Uh... Eating wormlet. Hell yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. So I actually ended up going the wrong direction on the dismember the DRC idea. So I suppose I could just top deck an ensnaring bridge and I'd be okay for a bit, huh? So if that's the case... Asmore and Amartic and Dyson to cool the car into exile. I just I just need to draw bridge here. That's really what it's down to. I guess tower could have me go forge into bridge. Mana up? Oh, that's terrifying. Didn't couldn't they play the Asmo? Yeah, we're dead. Just dead. Unfortunate. Um. So dismembers in Stonebrain is out. Stonebrain's fine, but this is kind of a mid rangey matchup. Although they're on red green, so I'm I'm an artifact deck. I'm completely screwed here, right? I mean, I do. I I definitely need to be aware of. Uh, brothers Tiff. I always forget the name of that. Brotherhood's End?
All right. Probably got turn three Tron, and I have a payoff. It's not one of the better ones, but... And we've got a Pithing Needle for, I, I guess, um, the book. Because they are playing Asmo, so they must be playing Cookbook, so... Okay. We in business? Question mark? Okay, they got the surveil lands. All right, all right. They've been a copper line gorge. Dash of Am. Okay. So they can hit a Karn here. They can't cast it, so that's fine. And my needle's in my hand. Nothing. Power plant is what we're looking for. Well, that's a great draw. Spell Skate. They have no food. So, I don't feel like I need to needle Asmo. So, feeling in good shape here. And honestly, most artifact destruction they would level at me at the moment, I would probably just let it resolve. It's going to cost them mana, and realistically, it's not costing me anything I actually care about. Mystic Forge is going to end this game in a very definitive way that nothing that I think that they could do other than destroying it would matter, so...
We're going with breakout, huh? Okay. Oh, this could put Asmo into play. I see. Okay. Pious Riot is one of my top 10 Simpsons moments. Okay. What particularly... Oh, 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 the joke, Pious Riot, because they're a Christian band instead of Quiet Riot. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, did Quiet Riot do a guess on The Simpsons? I, I don't remember that. Yeah, see, I kind of saw this coming. I just sacrificed the map here. I don't really give a flip. Like, I don't need the map. They play Asmo. I'm blowing away this Inti. I'm just killing this now. Oh, they skipped their second main phase. And they scoop. Even if they had Asmo, I had Neil for the cookbook plus Mystic Forge. So next turn I was I was drawing card. This game was over. There's no there's no out. They're toast. <laughs> uh quad dismemory, yeah. That's what we're going with. Uh boy this is um i'm keeping this it's not very strong if i don't draw a second tron land i'm leaning on tablet or maybe just relic yeah you know i lead on relic start relicking them assuming that they put a fetch land in their graveyard and then i can play and crack tablet next turn if i have to they keep their seven i'm keeping my seven they they tanked for a while so Hopefully it's not too strong. If they have turn one Ragavan, though, that's going to be rough. Hmm. Oh, I remember Liam Neeson in that episode of The Simpsons. Did he play a priest? And Homer started like trying to do everything like he was doing because he thought it would make the family happy, and then it didn't. I something like that. Was he? He was a Catholic priest, right? And and Bart does Bart go to a Catholic school? I think that's right. Come on, Marge. No more birth protection. Come on, Marge. No more birth protection. Yeah. Oh, they really, uh, they're really having a main phase here. Uh, bring me a higher love. Bring me a, bring me a. Okay, turn two breakout. Now that now now you're t they've got galvanic blast in their deck. Okay, that's kind of sweet. Please miss. Just I would love a a miss on this breakout. That would be cool. I don't want to say hastened into that that it would not be cool. Tarmogoyf. Well, it's small. And it's getting smaller. That that has to be best case scenario for me, right? What just happened? That that has to be best case scenario. I literally they literally couldn't have gotten less and had a card that mattered less with the fact that I have a relic. 
I'm gonna start blasting. No blasting. I don't approve of no blasting here. I don't see no blasting. I wanna endure no blasting. I don't really wanna talk about blasting. Why don't you blast off, huh? He says as he plays the blast. Hey! I don't need you to tell me to tell you how to tell me what to tell you to do. Right? Okay. Leaves the card on top. Okay, that's good news. Because then the goif... Okay, this this is... Oh, oh no! No, it's tapped! No! Um, I mean, I guess I let him have it. Was... Yeah, I would rather activate tablet on there and stuff. Baba <laughs> Pooey, that's funny. They're gonna pick up the oval chase, which makes the Tarmogoyf again a zero one. Now they're gonna be able to play an Asmo, but that's fine. They play a second cookbook, which again is not a problem because I have a Karn in my hand. The foods aren't doing anything for now, and so in theory, playing bridge into Karn is gonna be sick. Which actually disincentivizes me from cracking this inscribed tablet. So I may not. I may just go swamp bridge, pass the turn back. We'll see. Plays the asthma. Yep. Second cookbook. Oval chase. Yep. They attack me for one. You know, that's, that's unfortunate. I really want to have the relic activation up. At the same time, just playing bridge blocks these Karn structs and is the most mana efficient thing to do. I think we just play the bridge. It doesn't this doesn't feel great, but it's like, I don't know. Feel like it's a straight line to the win here. I'm not worried about Saga. I don't think it gets anything that messes with me too much. I mean it could get a needle, but like I have a lot of outs for needle. I have a blast zone in play, so I have a lot of outs for needle. Attacks for four. That's fine. And they want to make a car instruct, but that's yeah, relatively not concerning to me. So that's a huge draw. I can get the number of cards in my hand down to three. And have the ability to complete my... Okay. So their construct is not attacking. It doesn't matter if I doesn't matter what I do essentially. So I think having Tron next turn is great. Also, not playing either Karn or Mystic Forge into the Pithing Needle, like so they can see it. I suppose this gives them the opportunity to needle my expedition map, but that really doesn't matter because next turn I just go like land four drop. Have MTG foils always been stickers? Yes, as far as I know, yes. If if what you're saying is what I think you're saying, yes. Because I don't know if you've seen it, but there there are some people who do some like crazy alters with like acetone, where they like remove parts of the foil but not other parts of the foil.
makes the boy. Yeah. Just just didn't even try to make uh oval chase, even though they could have gone make uh food, and then in response to me exiling the oval chase, they could have made a second food. But they just they just did not even try, huh? Okay, that's Haywire might. Well that gets them through the bridge. But that also gives them another thing that's going to die to my um, Karn into Ratchet Bomb next turn. So I hate that. There's nothing I can do about it. Ratchet Bomb Bomb? Yeah. Whoa, they have two cards in their graveyard and DRC is on. That's insane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. This, so this is lethal. So I have to do something. Okay. Perfect. So this is where I cracked the relic. Four, five, six, seven. Exactly 13. I'm exactly dead? Jesus Christ. God, that's so brutal. I had that if I got the one more turn, probably, but wow. Well. Whew. But, you know, every single one we've lost has been a very narrow margin, so. I don't feel bad about this. I will say... I'm definitely going back to playing uh, a version with serum powder over inscribed tablet. I'm not an inscribed tablet believer, and I think it makes your chalice on ones a lot worse. Um, so serum powder fans, come to me. Come to me, serum powder fans. I just made a $50 budget Urza EDH deck. Dude, sweet. I love that. I love that for you. Yeah, I the dialogue, the the discourse around EDH turns me off so much and so consistently that I uh yeah, keep I I can't even begin to want to try to be interested in it. And also my play experiences were not the best. Um but I I really don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's worth saying. I think everyone who's in the same camp as me understands, and it just is a minority of players. I just feel like all you need to do is find a group of people who want to play EDH the same way as you, and then hang out with them and play it that way. That's literally the only rules, and there shouldn't be a ban list, and you don't need to respect the ban list. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Badagaboosh, except apparently it's not. I, I think it's supposed to be, but it's just not. Yeah, other than every experience I've ever had, and all my conversations with it, uh, I have no problem with with what, the, what, what it is and what they're doing there. Does anyone know what my opponent's doing? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to just Trinisphere them off of a Karn here. And then just kind of theoretically win the game after that, but I...
The one thing I'm definitely not getting is liquid metal coating. They shock in a stomp your hands. Oh! Okay, I wasn't, wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, that, that makes absolute sense, Boosh. I think that actually tracks with a lot of my experience with LGSs and such. It's like you you go there to audition friends, like you go and play FNM, and really the goal is not to play in the FNM so much as it is to find people to play test with outside the FNM because that's where good play testing happens. Good play testing ha does not happen at FNM. Are they on creativity? I have to assume that they are. So I have to assume the play here is to get Stonebrain and Stonebrain their Archons. Where does that leave me after the fact? Fomori Vault and a couple artifacts in play. Now, alternatively, I could just get Sundering Titan. If they Titan me this turn... Uh, that kills my car, and so I'm not in a great place. So I just have to try to stone brain here. Yeah, that's fine. If they have another reprieve, I can actually play Urza's Tower and play through. They didn't, so... I guess I should have played the tower anyway, because it doesn't matter. Anyway, we'll see. Archon of Cruelty. Winner! Do, do I leave the one that's in their hand? Because just my plan doesn't involve that happening at all. I, th I think I leave the one that's in their hand. They're not playing Persist. It doesn't look like they have a way to put it back in their deck. I don't want to give them an extra card draw. I'm sure this is a case of uh, don't get fancy, just get dancy. But, uh. Oh, they're playing Mana Tithe? Okay, that's really good to know. I'm leaving the Archon in their hand. That's fine by me. I'm not worried about that Archon. That's currently their hand. So this turn, they're going to go Dwarven Mine into uh, Fable. And they're going to have... They will not have white, blue, black, red, green. They will have Leyline Binding open. Okay. Fable, yeah. This will... Fairly quickly cast an Archon, so let's not faff about. It's not a bad draw. Spell Skate. Uh, I tapped badly because I'm going to go Pitting Needle on um, Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Followed by Activate Fomori Vault. 
at the top floor. Take a, oh. No, Chalice is no good. Relic's not bad. Relic it is. And I can just, um, I can just grab a um, Inventor's Fair. What do they want? Do you just pick my spell skite or do you? I think I'd rather have the spell skite at the moment. Also, they just blew a ley line binding on needle on the friggin' like that's yeah. Okay. Interesting. They also have a Teferi, so I need to have spell skite. Like if I'm trying to. They discarded the Teferi and an Indomitable Creativity. Interesting. They found a second Teferi, sure. Okay. So if nothing changes, they can actually arc on next turn. So, heavily incentivized to make a move. Walking Ballista for three would do it. Draw off relic. Okay, oh, yeah, that's much better. Oh no, I couldn't have done that anyway, so it's it's good. It's good that I drew things up uh, like I did. You're out of touch. I'm out of time, but I'm not around. I'm out of time. Oh, Ram Bright. Yeah, we're back from getting smokes, baby. It's funny, actually, uh, the last uh, cruise ship band I was in, we called ourselves Big Daddy. And uh, on the last cruise, I came up with that joke. This is the Big Daddy's going out for smokes tour. Which I thought was funny, but I always think I'm funny, so. <laughs> I hope life has been treating you the absolute best, Ram Bright. Uh, there's no need to sub here at all, but I... Do appreciate it from those who. Okay. So they drew another binding. So we'll definitely get rid of the reflection of Kiki Jiki. And I could kill this Tiff. Well, no, I, I can't kill the Tiff Fairy, but I, I have a second Ballista, so it really doesn't matter. Could have redirected the spell skite, but I feel like it's going to be more important. Uh-oh. Second fable. Okay, that's fine.
Good play. I mean... So now even if they can play the Archon, the only thing that happens is it dies and then I sacrifice a Walking Ballista that I don't need. And then next turn I go Inventor's Fair for Mystic Forge and then just kind of crush them, so. That's right, Daddy's back from getting smokes. As soon as I find a car in this game is over. I really, I could have saved four mana and activated um, Inventor's Fair there. So that, that was a mistake. Um, they're, they're definitely going to keep the Archon, right? Like there's, there's no, they discard Mesa Creativity. Well, they got lucky on that. They're, okay, I was like, there's no way they're missing their land drop, so. Show me the Archon, baby. That dwarf token is totally irrelevant. I love it. They're not casting the Archon? Okay. Whatever, I guess. Pew? Uh, I don't need more loyalty. Oh, this means I don't, I don't necessarily need to sacrifice the, um, Ballista now. I can sacrifice the second spell skite. Mana tithe. You. Do I want to play the one? Ah, uh, yes, I will pay the one. I choose yes. I, I will pay my floating mana opponent. I will pay... My floating mana. As a screenshot, I, I, I really should have. I someone clip that. Uh, someone go back and clip it, please, because that is that's priceless. Mana tithe. You, I, I have one floating. Mana tithe. Mana tithe, bitch. Yeah. Y'all know that there is an Archon of Cruelty in their hand they can cast. Also, they didn't activate their Teferi. So, my opponent's given up on this game. Um, uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh... Plus, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Stonebrain. Sure. Uh, I'm just going to try to win this quickly. So if I'm not paying attention to chat, it's because I'm actually not in practice with doing this. Would you say Mana Tithe is good against Fulmori Boomtron? <laughs> no. And I'll tell you why. Because it's not a simple answer. You see, uh, Tron is a, a set of three lands that uh, normally, and not in all instances, but quite frequently, will provide you with a, uh, I will refer to it as a glut of mana. Um, and, um, well, that just 
I mean, it's, um, what's the right way to say this? It's, uh, able, let's go with able to, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> they try to run at six, ping the thing with death touch. I redirected. I don't want to play anymore. You're not fun. No. All right. Uh, this is not the Jun creativity deck, so let's do these things, and I'll be right back, and then we'll go into the next one, next game. All right. Seems right. Um, this doesn't have any of my good cards. This does. I mean, it's not a great hand, but it it's certainly better than the previous one. I maybe should have bought him the swamp in case of like Bosejuing, like vicious, rabid Bosejuing, but. Spell Skite. Reprieve. Manatai. Oh, wow. <laughs> the last god. Uh, you're great. Thank you. Oh. Hands looking a little there opponent uh playing the earth saga wow it's been a while since i've done that that's not what i want to play walking blister thank you go walking blister in attack mode walking blister rolling out the tapped mine is an admission they don't know how to diggy hole Oh boy, are we we're not going back there, are we?
What what is Windrose? Am I supposed to know what Windrose is, or is is does anyone else speak crazy? Oh, that's delightful. Although if they have a land into creativity for two, I'm screwed. Um, which if they have a creativity, they're going to hit the land off the fable. I mean, I don't. But what does a Creativity X1 do here? Creativity X1... I end up sacking my Walking Ballista, and then... I mean, I can discard the chalice. I can put at least one bridge into play, potentially two. They didn't discard anything. That's terrifying. Uh, the Goblin Shaman token, the treasure token, doesn't net them any mana at all. Um... Okay, so that gets them a creativity one for one no matter what. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to take the two because if I block with spell sky, I could get bolted down. And blocking their potential bolts is definitely relevant. Power plant is land I need. Well, my guess, Last God, is what they're trying to do is get a bigger creativity. And I don't... I don't have any evidence to say that I could actually beat, like, a creativity for three. Okay, so that's a small amount of good news for me because they needed to pop a treasure for that. Oh, that's not what I want. They have enough mana next turn to go X3 on a... Uh, they don't have enough targets. Oh, they do have enough targets. Okay. So if they have a land and the treasure token... Yeah. Oh, and they have a dwarf. So... So they can creativity X3. I can redirect one to spell skite. Then I end up sacking the walking blista. Oh no, I, I kill the dwarf token with the walking blista if they. Well, we'll see. Prismatic ending my blista. 
You did not need to spend two colors on that, but okay. I could have redirected it to Spellskite, but I, I don't... I, I, I don't understand what just happened. I'm okay with it. I just don't understand it. That's why they paid two colors. What, to confuse me? Because I could redirect that to Spellskite. They wanted me to redirect it to Spellskite? I didn't want to. They should know that. Like, uh, Bliss on one is not great. Ran and seeks. Okay. Mystic Forge. Okay. I'm going to play a Ballista for two. Spellscape. Tablet. Okay. I think... Oh, I see Bash's Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. You're right, you're right, you're right. Because that's the way prismatic ending works. Um, Do I need to kill this reflection of Kiki Jiki now? I don't think that I do. If they go to copy their Goblin Shaman, I'll just kill it. I think you do if they down tick on Ren, it makes you sad. So what you're saying is they rend to ping my walking blista. In response, I kill the reflection. Then in response, they make a goblin shaman copy. But I don't... No, I can't spell skite the reflection. Oh, I can spell skite the rend. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. I, I knew I had a reason. I knew I had a reason. Picking up the land, yep. Okay, so they can't cast an arc on. If they Permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability or permanent you control the trigger. So that stops Thundering Titan. But I can boom box. Also, that doesn't affect Possess Portal. So 
So largely speaking, the Elish Norn doesn't matter except for the fact that if they have another Leyline Binding, they get a double Leyline Binding. I think that's fine. Okay. So I have exactly four, eight. So I have enough to go Karn into Boombox, Crack Boombox. Or I could go Karn into Possess Portal because I have Mystic Forge in play. Am I worried about anything my opponent can currently do on the board? Yeah, I think they have too many resources to go for that line. I need to shut them down more. Right now, what I need to do is buy myself time. I suppose if I just boombox their Elish Norn, take down one of their lands and a treasure token, Assuming that it resolves. Okay, let's see. Let's see if there's a better land than Blast Zone on top. So I'm cutting off my ability to play an 8-drop here if I don't hit. Okay, so I hit Tower. That's great. Another Spell Skite is fine, but I need the card to resolve first for it to be relevant. They could reprieve the car, and that's fine, because then I would have a clear field to work with. They're fetching. Okay. Got a plane, so I guess this is a reprieve. Get lost? One of my spell guides. I am, Daedric. Okay. Oh, because they wanted to sack the treasure, I see. So here I can... I can't Sundering Titan. But I could... Uh, Cityscape Leveler. But better than that, I think, is to get rid of their Archons. I don't have a Stone Brain in my sideboard. That was a mistake. Oh, no, I do. I do. There it is. Sorry. I don't know why I said that.
Oh, they have a Terastodon in their frickin' hand. But they can't cast it. So it costs eight. They need the Goblin Shaman to attack. And that won't happen. That's fine. Okay. Should be safe here. So they were Terastodon, Elish, Norn, uh, Archon was their split. That's wild. Activates Ren and Six, that's fine. So I'm gonna Oh, they drew a ley line binding. Well it doesn't matter because I have spell skite. Yeah, it does that doesn't Oh, they got a double trigger. Good thing I have two spell skites, Jesus. They took my two spell skites. So now I can go dismember Elish Norn, crank Ballista, ping it down. So that takes five mana, and then I Sundering Titan. Then I can run and six my Karn. So then I have to use for Mori Vault to find another Karn so I can possess Portal. I'm tightening to stop them cast other from casting other stuff, yeah. Do I need to, they're just gonna ping my Karn, so I wanna draw that Ballista. That's fine, okay, cool. I'm aware that I need to watch the clock, if anyone is concerned about that. But more importantly than that, I need to not make bad decisions that cause me to die. Oh, they didn't ping my Karn. Okay, this game is super over then.
Oh, I should have played the expedition map there. My bad. That's fine. I'll just draw it next turn. Then I will use it to... Well, I can just play the possessed portal now and that locks the game in a state where I win because I immediately sacrifice the Sunring Titan, kill two of their lands. Yeah. I probably should have just wiped the Renin Six out there, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm about to play Possessed Portal, and then the game's over. The only question will be time, but I will make it time. I will make the time not that long. Playline Binding. Targeting. Karn? It's got to target Karn. If they don't target Karn, they don't know what they're doing. Targets the Ballista on six. Sure. I'm going to hold priority for this. Possess portal. Okay. Bridge. Bliss on top is perfect. Okay, so here we go. Sorry, I've been not paying attention to chat because I need to act very quickly for the next small period of time. Uh, discard, no, sacrifice the Sundering Titan is the play. Trigger. Eating these things, done. Ah, kill these things, done. I got a need for speed, baby. I got a need for speed right here, I tell you. And I'll tell you something else, I'll tell you right now. We're going to crank this blister. Well, we're going to crank that blister. I'm going to ping down that Ren 6 right there. That's the most important goddamn thing in the world. My opponent don't know what going on here. Okay. Taking damage, opponent? You fool! <laughs> You have no time for damage here. <laughs> you know what? Miniature catfish. If that's something that's going to make you leave, then you leave now because uh, it's going to happen again. Kind of thing just happens every day around here. You just get used to it, like gun violence in America. <laughs> well, I'm not here. I, I left. Perfect. You don't like it, Alicartes? 
It's fine. You don't have to like it. I don't even know how much I like of. Is this a one-off stream? And it's not. There will be more streams. Don't worry. Don't you worry. If you want more mana symbol streaming, it's coming. A shore leave going? It's a... Uh... It has certainly started. Oh, my God. Well, I don't. I don't need to deal with that in a technical sense because I can just F6 through and I will win from this point because I've got more permanents than they do. Um, but clock is the major concern here. And I don't... No, I don't have enough time to pump to kill. This is a win on paper that I may not be able to actually take. Like, I'm just being very realistic about my abilities here. I don't, I don't think I can win this game. It's, it's a, it's a mathematical certainty, like, in terms of, like, who should win this game, who wins this game on paper, but I need to crank too many times, and I need to go to end step too many times, and there is just no way that I'm going to do it. I, I can't do it. It's, uh, uh, no, I don't think auto tapper would let me. The the MTGO delay is just too much. Um, you believe? I, I mean, I'm gonna try, but I, I just I I've resigned myself to the fact that this this league has now become a one four that should be a two three, but I will lose this due to time. And I've been I'm streaming. I I haven't played MTGO in a while, uh, not consistently. So I I'm not gonna feel bad about it. My previous league was a 2-3. This league was a, was a virtual 2-3, so I... I feel good about it. And uh, every match that I lost was... was uh, I had a win. And I, I feel very confident about every matchup that I had. You were going to save Goryeo's Vengeance is an OP deck. Is it? I don't... I don't know that that's right. Because I... My impression has been that it's good. Uh, and that it was winning a lot. I, I, there's no way I can win Alucartes. I'm not going to try. I The only way I would win is if my opponent made a colossal misplay. And I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to do that. I'm not all about that. Y'all know me. This game is over. It doesn't matter. I have no choices left to make. the The clock is the is the villain here, and and I am but the victim of the clock. I win on paper, and that's good enough for me at the moment. I don't know how much actual game clock it takes to um, kill someone with pure ballista cranks, but I couldn't have even done that. Was it the surveil lands that gave the deck that boost? I just sacrificed the wrong permanent. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I did. I, I thought I had a Karn at the end there, and I didn't, so... Yeah, so that should have been a 2-0, too. So, feeling pretty good about this deck uh, in general. I think this deck should be in the 5-0s, etc. Uh, boombox is pointless. Don't play your Boombox in your deck. Um, Fomori Vault might be playable. Um... 
But the truth of the matter is, it's probably just better as another inventor's fair. So unfortunately, I don't know if there's a lot of pickups for this deck from the new set, but that's okay because this deck never needed them. Uh, 